So let's see how we're able to, uh, how this machine is going to work against Joker. I'm curious to understand the mentality behind it. But um, we're going to hop into this game number one, and uh, we'll see how this is going. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, right now, it's this matchup's kind of weird because it feels like it's very weird because it just seems like Lucina just kind of wants to get in with Joker, but Joker just prevents getting in. Yeah. So it, it is hard to get in against Joker, and especially a Joker like Raven Kings. He is somebody who is just just defined by elusive gameplay and just stealing stocks away. He's so good at that comeback, at that steal. So we'll see what uh, CRB is able to bring to the table here. And gonna get caught by the dash attack right there. And that's a pretty, er that's a stock gone, but you're gonna get some of the early percent, where it's kinda, you have to work a little bit harder to bring it back right here. So, I don't know, I don't know what the plan is. It feels kind of like, I wanna say bad matchup, but it feels rough for CRB. Right. Especially that Chicago has a decent amount of Lucinas too, so. We do have a few. It's weird that we have so many. So Revigan's very knowledgeable in this matchup as well, so. Yeah. Unless CRB could d just do some insane adaption. Ooh. Oh. And the foots do as well, just for the one time, keeping that going. And now it's Raven King's turn to play, but not going to get the second tech, though. Yeah, that forward air is going to uh, for gonna make Raven King miss the tech on stage, unfortunately for him. But, I mean, hey, he's in, sitting in a pretty good position. He's kind of styling on CRB off stage as well. So we'll see what else he's able to cook up here as he's putting CRB at 102% on the ledge-ish. Yeah, and you're still staying at zero on your first stock as well. So, and we are at that winner. We're at that winners qualifier. So, winner does make top 24 winner side, and loser will still make top 24, but on the loser side right here. Yeah. So it's a lot on the line. And I'm seeing Raven King go for these nair one confirms. He was unable to get the kill there, but he hit that nair one multiple times. Just has kind of CRB's number, but right now CRB is making a name for themselves, able to push forward, but really good Rebels Guard coming out for the counter. It seems like CRB is doing the one trick and moving back with an elusive back air. It's always sharking in the water right there, taking out that stock. And once in this scenario where Raven can still have that pretty early percent just to get a lot of extra credit going, so. Yeah, but uh, there goes Arsene, unable to, you know, make the most out of that Arsene outside of that back air. And we'll see what uh, CRB is able to do here. Are you able to secure a stock here? Are you able to stop the bleeding? Are you able to? Oh, you Whoa. are fantastic. I love the jab or the F tilt one into an up smash when uh, Raven King goes to drop his shield for the parry. Really good stuff coming out from CRB. I didn't even know you could do that. That was sick. That was super sick. But yeah, even though it looks like Raven King game the whole way, CRB did this mid-game mid adaptation and is bringing it back in their favor right here. Yeah, so let's see here. Able to get the, the the forward air, and I mean, right now you've got an Arsene. You've got to take care of it right now. You have to either beat it out of him or let him have it for a couple more seconds and wait wait it out because you cannot challenge that Arsene. And we're beating out him, and it's fully gone right here. No more jump, and you have to tether recover tether recovery, and you're a little bit too far out to yeah. get it back. Unfortunate for um for Raven King there just got snuffed out off stage. Good stuff for CRB though. It seemed like Zero B was getting getting kicked down just the entire game, but Raven King like is like Zero B was getting kicked down the entire game, but Zero B really brought it back in that last stock and doing so well. Yeah. That mid game adaptation mid game adaptation is so hard, but when you do it so smoothly like that, it's so impressive. Yeah, good stuff to uh to CRB. We'll hop into this game number two. We'll see how Raven King's able to adapt. Now Raven King is no stranger to adapting and sweeping. That's kind of a staple of his. Uh, so we'll see. I experienced it last night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how he's able to get that started here into uh, game number two. So. But Arson's already online with that early Rebels guard, so Raven King definitely can make a play for himself with the issues you have to get in. And CRB is doing a very good job of just not letting that happen. He's taking that game, Raven King game plan of just not getting in and adapting it to himself. So, yeah. we'll see where this goes for Raven King right here. Oh. That's an early stock? Yeah, an early stock with Arsen using the last couple seconds to get a down air into an up smash. Good stuff to Raven King. And now you almost have a Arsen on deck already. 
these rebels guard, these calling out the rebel card is doing so good for Ravenkin right here. And you have Arsene back in line already. So if you want to get this extra credit going, you definitely can. But you're now you're offstage with, with Arsene. It's harder to cover, and that back here's going to take it. Yeah, that recovery is slightly more exposed when it comes to Arsene back, uh, when it comes to Arsene. So good stuff to CRB and capitalizing on that, getting that uh, back air to secure the stock. And good job on the green, the air dodge out, getting that dash tech, and Arsene's almost online right here, but not yet. There he is, coming out to play and going for the edge guard right here. Not gonna go for it, just waiting patiently. Yeah, Ars I really love just the second Arsene is out, right? Just, oh, again? Two again? Times. Can we go for the three? Can we hit the jackpot? Can we get the three P? But I was going to say is I really like just threatening um, offstage presence with Arsene because when that comes into play later and CRB starts panicking, that's an early stock that Raven King can uh, steal. It's very early and this extra credit's adding up a lot right now. And even though the stock is probably gonna go up pretty soon for Raven King, but never mind the SD from the gun. Yeah, unfortunate gun able to gimp CRB there and taking out uh, the stock before Raven King. Uh, we'll see what CRB is able to cook up with this game number three here. Just running right back. All right. Yep. Valid. I'll give it up. But we're sticking it out with Lucina. Um, I'm curious. I'm, maybe Pal is just like not a good matchup for, or not. Maybe Joker's just not a good matchup for Pal. I guess so. Or maybe Lucina is just like marginally better. I would also want a large disjoint. Yeah. It's, that's always very nice to have. Yeah. So. Let's hop into game number three right now, and hopefully, I know we're a little bit biased towards Raven King, but both players are doing super well right yeah. here, and that adaption, and that, and TRB adapted mid-game, and Raven King adapted in between games, and that led him to win that game number two right exactly. there. So let's see if TRB can do that mid-game adaptation, or Raven King will just keep that streak going. Yeah, and I love that, knowing that Raven King was going to go for that great get up attack, and just run up and shield, able to get a punish, unable to capitalize too much off of it, but you're playing a sortie, so your your combos are going to be two, three hits, but I mean, right now, Raven King is kind of running away with his lead here, sitting at 139, or 129, able to get a forward, uh, uh, an up smash call out on the shield, so, you know, uh, let's see how CRB is able to fire back. Oh, I love the slow walk for the back air. I love following the Lucina drift with the air and walking on the stage and seeing where they go, trying to catch the back air. Sadly, didn't hit. But I just love the idea of just drifting with the air. Yeah. That was so smart. Uh, we've got smart players on the screen here. Really good stuff. I love the force out, the fight with forward air off the ledge. Just barely missing that Aegon, but that down tilt is gonna secure a stock. Really good stuff for Raven King as he's able to take the first stock of the set, or the game. Very good, it has a very early percent too, and Arsene's online, so the extra credit will add up quickly. If Raven King can get in, that's already 35% on deck. Adding him quickly to another 60, keeping a rise, and let's get this number going. Yeah, really like that, able to catch that tech on the platform with the Aegon. Uh, our sense gonna go away here, but it doesn't seem to bother um, Raven King too, too much because he's able to keep on the pressure. The pressure is still going, even though we reset back to neutral, Raven King still takes the advantage state and keeping it going and beats the neutral get up, but not able to punish it in time, but this, this time spot dodge with the neutral B coming out, and it is not looking good for CRB over here. Yeah, right now CRB is having a hard time, but never mind. You get that shield breaker. There's the forward smash to even up the stock count. CRB is looking alive now. Looking alive, but you're down 124% with a going off stage against Joker. Raven King and the less drop into the back here is going to take it. Going all the way down with the gun, and you're not able to recover, and now Raven King just stole back that stock lead. Yeah, Raven King has a full stock lead, sitting at 0%, able to build us a Rebels gauge, and there, now we've got our set on your last stock, so you better play this safe. And up tilt the up air, they're chasing with another up air, not able to get it though. And it's looking like Raven King set all the way right here. Yeah, CRB's gonna have to find something there because Raven King right now is on the prowl, our set is ready, but our set nearly out now. So one last hit for Raven King, let's see if he's able to capitalize. He has to get that one confirm. He has to get the drag down gun combo. There's the confirm oh. into the drag down grab. That was very smooth. Yeah, what we need to see from CRB is just a tad bit more patience. Right now we're swinging for the fences, getting a lot of like uh, hits in, but not a lot of capitalization, not a lot of patience. You have to go for the patience. You've got to be careful. You cannot allow Raven King to make you panic. 
I love that drag down gun though, chasing your recovery with the gun and just hoping you'll mess up somehow. Ooh. The back air going all the way saved and knowing that you have to go for these risk reward chances at this low percent. You lose, if you make one mistake, you're gonna lose. Might as well just risk it all on one, that one play right there. Yeah. And this comeback factor from CRB is looking up to be so good right now. Yeah, and right now, this is what I was talking about. That patience to CRB. CRB took their time a little bit there, and now, even though our, even though Raven King has our set on deck, he's on the verge of losing this stock and this game because CRB is currently running away with it. Yeah, and the grab's going for the forward and Raven King our set is gone, but you have to recover so low, going all the way low for the weak up, he's not gonna get the back air out. Yeah. And it's looking CRB on the games right here, and Raven King not finding the opening. The down throw is not gonna kill just yet either. Yeah, just barely out of range for that up for that down throw kill, and right now, CRB is stalling on the ledge, but a dash attack is going to catch it. Really good stuff from Raven King to steal that out, but CRB, that was scary. Insane.